Hi, I'm Christopher Boyd and I'm a solutions engineer with Prefect. In this video, we're going to discuss deploying Prefect on Kubernetes infrastructure. On the left hand side, I have lens so we can visualize as we configure this deployment. And on the right hand side, my sessions where we're going to set up port forwarding and actually execute the deployment. Showcase my version currently running on 2.0.1. And since this is just the default configuration, we're going to run the following command prefect kubernetes manifest orion that's going to create that manifest you could pipe that out to a file if you'd like but because we're not planning on configuring this any more than the default we're just going to send that right into kubectl apply and pass in that input on the left hand side we'll see that deployment starts up we have that deployment running let's go to pods we can deploy that started we can see that that has started up so now what we can do is we can start setting up our port forward command to deploy that traffic into that cluster. So kubectl port forward deployments slash Orion, and that's based on deployments Orion based on the manifest. And then we're going to forward 4200 to 4200. Before we execute that command though, let's take a look at this agent and make sure that it's up and running. We can see that it is and that it's looking for the Kubernetes work queue that doesn't exist yet, but we're gonna create that. So let's go ahead and execute this port forward. Okay, and now we're going to run prefect config set prefect API URL equals HTTP localhost 4200 slash API. And this is saying we're going to set our current prefect configuration to point to localhost 4200 API, and that's going to be passed into the cluster based on our port forwarding in the bottom session. That's set. And now lastly, we can go ahead and create that work queue. We can see it handled the connection, it created the work, and over here on the left, we can see that that work queue got created. And here in a second, we should actually see it spinning up with the 829E3. And we see it does. And now that agent's ready to serve and answer flows. With that concluded, the next videos will discuss deploying prefect infrastructure using a custom namespace. And then we'll take that a step further and update this to point to the cloud and no longer being a local agent. Thanks for watching.